All right, good morning. This is Gardener Israel coming to you from South Georgia, beautiful South Georgia. Well, we got to see a car go by. This is August the 2nd, 2023. We're trying something new this morning. We like to get out here <coughs> before daylight here in the middle of the summer and feel this beautiful weather that you have at six o'clock in the morning the sun comes up directly in the direction that we are filming so if you are watching this you can Make believe that you're getting up early and watching the sun come up. I always feel good when I get up early. I don't feel good when I get up, but I have to get up and shake a leg and get ready and rub my eyes and get a cup of coffee. But I feel like my day goes better if I get up early. And get outside, not stay in the house, but get outside and watch the wonderful miracle that God has created. The world that we live in. And here comes a a wayfarer going down the highway now that that car is going in the other direction from town but that's another early bird there going about his business peacefully in a lawful manner going down the highway this is very peaceful When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do when I wake up is start thinking about God and His wonderful creation, thinking about Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua the Messiah, who came into the world some 2,000 years ago to perform a miraculous sacrifice of Himself in order to offer us eternal life if we would and if we could believe only believe that he was the Messiah you'll find that information in the Bible in the Gospels in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If you need to inform yourself about that story, it can be read in a couple of sittings. Find out what, was, what happened back then. I would check it out if I were you. I'm advising you to check it out. I've been on this earth for 72 years now, and a little bit more. And I've been through, I've been in ups and downs. I've done just about everything that can be done in the way of not doing right. And that makes me a typical human being. I've done it all. And through the words of Jesus, which I was informed about through various preachers, videos, friends, 
at some point I decided hey that sounds pretty good to me and these things that I've been doing and all they've done is get me in trouble and make me miserable some of the things I did could have easily gotten me killed but God spared me It's getting a little lighter right now. Now I'm going to end this segment with the Lord's Prayer. And I would like for anybody watching this out there, I would like to think that you're going to say it with me. If you don't know it, I'd like to be the one to teach you. And maybe a car won't come by while we're saying this. You can see the sun is getting rosy there through those beautiful Georgia pine trees. This part of the country God has blessed with beautiful forests of every description. Pine trees, oak trees, poplar trees, all kind of stuff like that. As soon as this car goes by, I'm going to do it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.